Hello, hello, Ninka here from Ninks.com. Today we're going to be featuring the Love of Leaves um, stamp set and the Stitch Leaf dies. They come in a bundle and um, if you purchase them together, you can save 10%. So these are the dies and then the stamps. I've already made a video to show how the die cutting works. So if you want to pop over and watch that, you can do that. So we're going to start with a card base of early espresso and um, it's cut from a half a sheet of 11 by 8 and um, on the 11th inch side cut at five and a half and then scored at four and a quarter so there is our card base of early espresso i've gone ahead and die cut this using the this die from um, from the set and it gives this very pretty stitched texture so but what I did first is I cut out the leaf and then I did run it through the machine again with this die you could do this first but then your leaf will be left with little pieces of um, stitched dies on it and I decided to do the leaf first because then I can use this um, for um, I thought a different project but it turns out for this project and I'm going to show you that now. So let's go ahead and do some stamping. I'm going to get my stamp and pierce mat because this is a detailed photopolymer stamp and we need this extra um, at the back to just make give it um, something firm. I'm going to use the early espresso which is just a lovely fall color this down you can always first stamp and then die cut but with these um, a see-through photopolymer um, stamps it is so easy to just get your leaf um, correct after you have die cut it but it's all up to you some people do find it easier to first stamp and then die cut so that's our leaf and then we're also going to do something with this in um, using different colors so I have bumblebee which is the it's a very goldish yellow been using that quite a bit and this long leaf And I'm going to protect my surface with just a piece of scratch paper and then I'm just going to randomly stamp some leaves over this texture. And it just gives it such a nice look. Do you see that? And with the details already in in these stamps it just makes it something special and it's but i'm just randomly stamping wherever i think that will look nice and the bumblebee is part of the um in colors for 2020 to 2021 as well as the misty moonlight which is this one you can find that in your annual catalog. And now we can just go ahead and stamp this over that and look at all the, you can really stamp this wherever you want. And you can go ahead and play with any different ideas. Let me use a different one. And um, what ink should I use? Oh, this is something else. Um, if you use your stamps quite a lot, you will find that there's, there, 
not that sticky anymore. Run them under the tap with some lukewarm water and just give them a nice rub. And all the dust that makes their sticky go away will be washed off and they'll be all back to the way they were. So no worries about that. What other uh, cinnamon cider is another nice one. Let's try this one out. Let's see. Where do we need some more leaves? And here maybe? Let's put another one over there. You can also first stamp and then die cut, um, but then you won't get these little white um, pieces, which I feel just adds to to the texture of of the card. What's in the oh Cajun crates? These are nice. One. I've got all types of stuff sticking to me. Okay. I hope I'm not getting all inky, but I probably am. I've got ink everywhere. Huh. Okay, let's see. We need something here. Something over there. And I think we need something over here. Do we need something else? Oh, I think we need another one here. Oh, I can just go on like this forever. I need to stop. It's pretty. Stop. But I want to. Pretty. Stop, stop. It's just so much fun. I can fill the whole page just with. What else do we want to do? Oh, we want to do the inside. And now I'm scared I'm going to mess up my project with my inky fingers. Inky. But that's the fun. Getting all messy. What do we, oh, I've gone and done it. I've got, let me grab mine. Okay, so this is my Simply Chamois that I used to clean off all my, and I'm not going to use that side because that's what I used to wipe all the ink. So I'm using the other side. And you just run this through under some um, water and no, the ink does not wash out. It is ink, but it won't come off on your hands. What do we want to put? We want to have something, something on here. Let's say... I, mm, where's the, I'm so glad you're in my life. I want to send this to one of my friends. I'm so glad you're in my life. We all need friends. We're going to do the early espresso. Early espresso. And let's put this right here somewhere, do you think? Let's put that here. Ha -ha. And then what are we going to put on the, in the inside? Your friendship is something I can count on. That sounds great. Where's my inside? Okay, now let's see, I've got a inky finger on that side. So let's do the other side and hope I don't make that inky too. Oh, I want to do my leaf first. Let's, are we going to use the same big one? I think so. Here's another block. 
I need to order myself more blocks so that I can have all my stamps ready. One go. Let's put this one here. There we go. And we can put our sentiment right here. Oops. There we go, and there's enough space to write something down here. I just love these stamps. They make things, make it so easy to look good. Okay, we're done with that. Now we can put all of our things together. You know what, I'm going to use my seal okay so the reason why I want to use seal um, is because if I use Tombow it's going to seep through these um, little holes and then everything's going to be sticky and it's already inky so let's just um, I ran out of my seal now I want to show you this um, you you can open the seal up stampin up sells this as a refill so this is my empty one I'm just gonna take that out and then you order the new one so you don't need to get the whole thing and it's cheaper and then this just lines up the big one there and the little um, two little pegs there push that down stick these back and voila your refill is done and now we can just go ahead and test that do I have a scrap piece of paper somewhere I guess not okay we'll test it on the back of our project so that is always a good idea right hmm. so let's see do I have sticky yet oh no not sticky so we can just pull this up oh, there the stickiness is it's just like a little let's try this now not yet ah there we go and we did our refill <gasps> I forgot my silicone mat and now I've got stickiness on my work surface there we go that's better so the reason we use seal is to not have Tombow leaking through our holes Do I have my card the right way round? Just make sure of that. And now this is not Tombow, so we don't have a second chance. We need to get this centered correctly, right? There we go. We want to use about leave about an eighth of an inch border. There we go. That's pretty. And now I'm going to stick this back in its place using dimensionals. practice the new trick right stab and pull now that is way easier I need to put this back in its spot I just like the the effect that 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 gives now I have a little bow this is the linen thread yeah. okay let's cut this off let's just do it a bit longer and then we'll see now to adhere this we're going to use glue dots which I put where oh underneath my ink there you go okay here we go Glue dots. Take your bow, stick it 
to your glue dot and then you just pinch it around so that will stick your ah, that will keep your bow from un coming undone and now we're just going to put that on our leaf there we go and then we need some bling right champagne rhinestones i absolutely love these i love them the question always is just where do i want to put them where i can never decide do we put them i think we need let's do a bigger one down here using the putty point of our let's put this one here and then we can put two little ones up here i think oh stick to the paper oh that looks nice i really like that okay inside and then we're done Where's my silicone mat? So, as always, the dimensions is available in a free downloadable PDF on my website. Website is linked below. Get this centered. And that is that. So tell me what you think. If you like the, um, the bow and the stamping, if you would ever stop, I think I'll just go on and on. Tell me in the comments below. See you again soon. Bye-bye.